Hello guys, Joster here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I have a new laser projector. This is Mars from Dank Bay. This is a 1080p laser projector rated at 2100 ISO lumens, HDR and HLG support, native Netflix support, dual 10 watt speakers with Dolby Audio, and it sells for $1,000. Normally, I review 4K projectors in this channel, but I wanted to see how a 1080p laser projector performs. So let's dive into this video, guys. Let's do this. First of all, this is a heavy projector. It is made of plastic and aluminum, but I can tell that they use high quality materials. Here in the front, we have the projector lens and the sensors for autofocus and auto keystone adjustments. On the sides, we have grills for ventilations and speakers. In the back, we have a couple USB ports, two HDMI ports with ARC support for audio, optical for audio and LAN for internet. At the bottom, we do have a mounting bracket for tripod or ceiling mount. On top, we have a touch power button and an IR sensor. And I love the glossy finish of this projector. It looks really nice. Also included is the power supply with the extension cord the remote control, instructions, and cleaning cloth. Now setting up the projector is easy and intuitive. With a fit to screen option, the picture will automatically adjust to the screen you have in a matter of seconds. Now this is very useful when setting up the projector for the first time. Then there's autofocus and this will automatically adjust the focus to keep the picture sharp. There's also digital zoom adjustment just in case if you need to adjust the picture size without moving the projector. Now I'm using an 80 inch screen size here in my small office and the projector is sitting at around eight feet and two inches. So you don't need a lot of space to project a big picture. Now here are the measurements you need depending on the size of screen you have. Now based on this chart, you can go up to 180 inches. Now I don't have the size of screen available but I do have a 150 inch cine white screen and the picture looks amazing. Now, personally, I feel that to get the best picture performance on a 1080p projector, the best is to stay between 80 inches and 120 inches. This way picture looks sharp and remains bright and colorful. Now, this is a laser 1080p projector, so that's why it looks good on this 150 inch screen size. But the difference between 1080p and 4K is more noticeable at this picture size. The picture is not as sharp, so I do recommend a 4K projector when going over 120 inch screen size. My first impression was how bright this projector is. It is rated at 2100 ISO lumens, so the picture can get very bright even under ambient light or during daylight. Now here I have the lights turned on and you can see the picture looks great, but of course, projectors perform better on a dark environment. I also like the black levels. I mean, they're not all the blacks, but this projector does an excellent job and blacks look very dark. Now, colors look natural. They're not oversaturated like typical triple laser projectors, but they are vivid and well balanced. This is perfect for movies and HDR content if you like to have a natural colors and skin tones. Now going over the operating system, this projector uses Linux. This is my first time using Linux and so far it's easy to use, it's fast, responsive. There's also native Netflix support which is becoming a standard on projectors, thank god. There is also YouTube and Prime Video. There are more apps available that honestly I've never seen before and even games. But I couldn't find Disney Plus or HBO Max or Hulu. Apparently, they're not available in this operating system, but I think they're just as important as Netflix and they should be available in the first page. Regardless of that, this operating system feels fresh and it's easy to use, so I hope to see more app support in the future and also more projectors implementing it. Now going through the settings, this projector offers four presets and you can also customize your own. I usually like cinema for movies because colors are well balanced and it has a warmer tone. Another great feature is the sound. Mm -hmm. 
There are two 10 watt speakers built in and they sound rich and clear. There are four sound presets, but movie is my favorite choice. There is also dialogue enhancement. Now this feature works great for movies when there are conversations. You can also use the projector as a Bluetooth speaker and just listen to your music from your phone, which I think is a really good idea since this projector sounds amazing. There are other basic features like sleeper time, phone cast, but unfortunately there is no 3D support. Now I'm a big fan of 3D movies at home on projectors and I was hoping for 3D support but there is none. It seems to be only available in the 4K version. Now I'm a gamer and I love playing single player games on projectors and enjoy the beautiful environments at my own pace. The gameplay is more immersive and it's just fun to game on a big screen. Unfortunately, this projector is limited to 1080p and there is no HDR support either. Regardless of that, the picture still looks good and the gameplay felt responsive. Now overall, I like this projector. I think Dan Bay did a pretty good job with the design, the picture quality, although the projector has its limitations like 1080p, uh, no 3D support, also some important apps like HBO Max or Disney Plus are missing. But I think the price is right. I mean, it's priced at $1,000 and there is a $100 discount. So technically you're paying $900 for a laser projector. I think that's a pretty good price. But me personally, I will go for the Max Mars, Mars Pro. I was saying Max Mars Pro, which is a 4K version. I mean, it is a 4K version. So the image is much sharper, especially if you're going for a, a bigger size screen, like a 150 inch. Also, there is 3D support, so if you like 3D movies like me on a projector at home, just go for the Mars Pro. And it is also brighter, so brightness equals much better picture quality, especially on projectors. So just for those three upgrades, I will definitely save a little bit more money and go for the 4K version. So that's just my opinion, guys. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about this. And also, let me know what kind of features you are looking for when you're buying a projector you know what is the most important feature for you all right so i'll see you guys in the comment section thank you so much for stopping by i'm joster and i'll see you guys on the next one joster out